Uh-oh, I had to do it to ya. The doomsday scenario has arrived. What's up everybody, Zach is back and so is NBA 2K21 Next Gen Edition in all its fancy flashy glory. And we've got a serious situation here. What if Golden State is able to work their magic wheel and deal and make a Wiggins plus draft choices swap for Giannis? Creating an all powerful, almighty super team that stomps on even the super teams. Can LeBron, AD, KCP, Kuzma, and Co., the defending champions, even compete with a lineup that has this much star power? We're about to find out. Rocking some classic jerseys and giving you guys the best gameplay straight in 4K from Xbox Series X. Hope you're all doing well. Smash that like button. Let me know if you think this would ruin the NBA. It's got me a little worried, but this game is too beautiful to panic yet. Let's go, baby. I'm hyped to see what this is like. It is, I mean, it's going to be silly. It's going to be silly to pair Steph, Clay, Giannis, Draymond on the same court. Now, super teams have been something that has sort of ruffled my feathers since the beginning. I'm talking back in the Boston Celtics, Garnett, Pierce, Antoine Walker days. But this one would be just downright silly, wouldn't it? David, come on. How are they going to let this happen? Remember when they tried to veto the CP3 trade? AD said he takes pride in his defense, adding, anytime guys feel they can score it on me, I take it personally. Kevin, it's going to take an awful lot to get your shots up over the brow. Back to you. Sure does, DA. Thank you so much. Oh, break two teams. Lineups are set. Marquise Chris feeling a little left out. The only dude that isn't worth a billion bucks. Let's see what we can do. I like these orange jerseys. I think they're I think they're a goofy throwback. I like the Lakers, uh, Lakers alternates they got on as well. This should be a good matchup, and it can't be the NBA Finals. We can't have a LeBron versus Curry NBA Finals. It's just not a thing anymore. For better or worse, this would have to be duked out, uh, you know, in the um, in the, the Western Conference uh, Finals, and this would completely render the Bucks basically useless. Now, I don't think this happens. Let's be honest here. I, I'm, I, you know, I'm no, I'm no expert. But I do not think this happens. I think Milwaukee wants to do everything they can to keep Giannis, and I think that they probably will. As Giannis gets the and one with a little shake at the top of the key, and AD's like, dude, how come we don't have a, a big four? They got a big Frank Vogel's like, man, might be needing a new job soon. But I think that honestly, I think when all is when it all shakes out, I think I don't think Miami's gonna grab Giannis. I don't think uh, any of that's gonna happen. Um, I really think that, I really think it'll be okay. Um, I really, really, okay, as I try to mess with the, the stats. Um, I'm going to call an early timeout here and swap some, some somebody who, I'm going to put Giannis on LeBron. But, no, I don't think this is going to be a thing. I think Giannis will stay, but I, I did read the, the reports, that like, hey, the Warriors are trying to put together a really interesting package to see what they can cook up. Um, let's see if we can go to game plan here. Look at my freaking defensive settings, gosh. Um, guarded by, we're gonna put, I want Giannis on him, no matter what. There we go, that's what we wanna see. All right, cool. Ready to go. But like, even without Giannis, right, the Warriors are gonna be back ready to rock and roll. They're gonna be a powerhouse in 2021. Love that the season's starting December 22nd. I know that a lot of players aren't a, a big fan of that. I know that's like, I understand that's difficult. 72 days is not a lot to get your body ready. Um, but like, I'm excited for the season to be back just because I think it'll be fun. Oh, is offensive three in the key? Ah, yeah. Had one of those last time I played as the Warriors as well. 
Make sure to subscribe, by the way, if you haven't already. I'm going to be getting, like, PS5 footage up soon. Um, a lot of new games besides NBA. You know, more NBA action. I'm a big sports fan. Most people don't know that my other channels. Like, I coached basketball for 10 years. I played my whole life. Wow. LeBron with the air ball? Seriously, though? Seriously? And then Dwight Howard with the butterfingers. Man, oh, man. Wasn't he the guy that just ate so much candy? Wasn't that him? Like, when he first started in the NBA, like, literally, he talked about how all he would eat was candy. Seriously? You gotta guard that, man. Oh, wow. I thought we were Marquise Chris. Come on, you're out here for, 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 for no good reason. Okay. That's gonna be a triple jam. Yep. There we go. KCP. Remember him from Detroit. I'm a big Detroit sports fan. Every team, any team. Oh, LeBron on Curry? A little, a little awkward. Curry against James. Dang, a little late. Alright, he's Chris, my boy. Giannis. Oh, dang. Rough shooting start here. Uh, but yeah, I remember Casey if he was on Detroit, people thought he was going to end up being like such a good player. I mean, he didn't do bad. I think he just wanted too much money, and the Pistons suck, so... I mean, the, the Pistons are in, like, the worst position possible. They got a massive Blake Griffin contract and nowhere really to go with it. All right, we got to get going. We missed a lot of shots here. Come on, Steph. You got you got the freaking all-star line. And this is why I say, like, you know, most likely they would win, but it, it's, not like, it's not like a guarantee, right? Seriously? Man, we can't get anything to fly. I thought they were not covering him pretty. I was surprised they weren't really guarding him. Man, if that goes in, we're in trouble. Okay, good. Let's go push it, push it, push it, Steph. From here. Curry deciding where to go with it. Thompson from long range. There we go. Needed that bucket big time. Play with the nice one. Number 11. Splashing in the one plus one. Plus one. That's good D by. That's good D by. Oh, wow. Nice tip slam. Or not tip slam. Tip, uh, just tip. Straight up tip. By uh, my boy. Come on, don't lose the ball here. Thompson dishes to Curry. And the foul. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. I was trying to get the ball to Giannis because they got KCP on him. They're going to make some subs here. Got a weirdo lineup now. Ooh. It's a good shot by Curry. It's got to be a bucket. Yep, we got a ball game here. This is going to be a good one. Lakers are, uh, Lakers are, you know, they're going to play a tough game. And like we all know, I saw your comments. I'm not the best 2K player, all right? I'm not. It's okay. It's just the fun of it. Uh, there's the My City mode, which I'm kind of interested in checking out, which is going to be a new addition to my uh, my career and my player. Look at the cute kids dancing. It's TikTok, even in... Freaking NBA 2K21. Regarding the mental aspect of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo had this to say earlier. Definitely the game has slowed down a lot for me. I'm able to know where my team is going to be. I'm able to get to my spots. And know, I know my spots. And uh, I don't score on accident no more. I score because I know, okay, I'm going to get to that spot, try to make a play for my teammate or make a play for myself. Well, Greg, that might be why they put up so many points. They all know the roles. They've got the everybody right knows the roles. Yeah, I mean, man, that's a lot of roles to figure out when you got a, a team like this, a lineup like this, isn't it? Who's on Giannis? Probably not the best lineup here. It's a good shot. Oh wow, very late. Ah, seriously, seriously, that's my fault. That's me being dumb. That's me the bad shot. I got to get the timing on the turnarounds better. PG Kuzma. Call the place. All right, we got Giannis and Kuzma, which probably is not the best fit here. Dude, what are you doing? Yep, that's what I thought. Come on, Caruso. Yeah, not going to stop Clay. Clay's getting up. Clay's heating up. We take the lead here. You know, with, with the quarters where they're at, I don't feel like we really need to swap anything in, so I'm not too worried. Um, let's, let's put Curry on Rondo. Yo, charge? Yes. Marquise Chris doing the little things. They're like, LeBron, we, we've seen enough. you got to get back in here. I cannot believe how good the game looks. Like, I remember saying I cannot believe how good the game looks when I, when I played on, you know, like, Xbox 360. But, like, seriously, like, this is just too good. Wow. Now here's Green. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Yeah, too easy. Too easy. LeBron's just going to, I mean, Draymond's just going to back Kuzma down all day. 
But yeah, uh, every gen, every gen, you're like, oh my god, this game looks amazing. It could never look better. And then you look back, you're like, ew, like that looks so bad. But I feel like this is the time where we're like, this is really gonna look good for maybe forever. I don't know if games will ever recover from looking this incredible. LeBron cannot make a three pointer in this game. I have not seen the dude hit a three in this game yet. But I've seen this man make a three. Yes, sir! That's what we do. That's what Steffery does. It's like Jeffrey, but Steffery. I want to get a nice Giannis Duncan. Is LeBron really going to try to... Oh, wow, yep. That's what LeBron does best. That slam. Man, if you want something cool and you get this game and you pick it up, go to, uh, like, after the game... Go to, like, the, uh, the slow-mo... Or not slow-mo, but, like, the, the replays throw it in slow-mo and uh, enjoy some insane visuals the game looks ridiculously good oh LeBron seriously yo play with a little late oh yep Giannis ah my boy the big G let's go we're on 11-2 run we're really taking it to him here and I mean this might be the reality of it right this might be the reality if we get a matchup like this if this lineup actually actualizes I think these guys are going to be tough to tough to tussle with they really are it would be unfair but there's going to be some interesting competition next year you know Brooklyn's not bad at all Milwaukee in theory if they keep uh, they keep Giannis will be pretty darn good Golden State's going to be good and healthy and a nice draft pick. I'm very curious to see where LaMelo goes and if he's able to actually be impressive. Is he, is he going to make an impact his rookie year? And if he does, do we have to, like, say, oh, my gosh, LaVar was right, which is kind of a terrible thought, but... Staff can't give him that space. Not when he's wearing the bright orange, dude. This dude is the sheriff of Tangerine Town. Don't get silly with it. Put some respect on his freaking name. Danny Green can't do what Steph can do. Outside Curry. Davis against Thompson. Over in the corner, Green. I want I don't know. I want to dream how to take it. My Michigan State love got the better of me. All right, let's enjoy the halftime show as the gemstone clicks. And Steph is like, uh-huh, I knew this would happen when we got Giannis. It was going to be over. Enjoy the halftime show, my friends. Thanks very much, Draymond. Of course, not unusual to see you going up against bigger players. So how do you take advantage of that offensively? I mean, you just got to take advantage of mismatches. You know, most of the time there's a big guy on me. If not, there's usually somebody trying to switch off. I just gotta know when to pop and just take advantage of the mismatches. You've done just that in the first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. They didn't get more than a one possession lead in the period. Three points was as big as it got. It was easy to see they were the superior team in the second quarter. And now it's just a matter of protecting that nine point lead after the half. Hey, big fella, what's your take on Golden State so far? Well, everyone needs someone that can stretch the floor. No one does it better than Steph Chef Curry. Defense has been spread out and effective. We'll see if they can make adjustments in the second half. I don't think they can, though. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Lakers. They aren't playing tight enough defense. That's pretty clear. There needs to be a lot better communication. The guys are playing defense on an island a lot of times, and that's getting them burned. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. All right, we're ready to roll. Can the Warriors and their Doomsday lineup continue to crush? Or will Frank have the freaking defending champs competitive? Um, Energy-wise, we're actually doing okay. We haven't had to try that hard, honestly. We're doing 
We're doing okay. They're, they're going to try to put a little pressure, I guess, on Clay here, which seems yeah, odd. Danny Green, what you doing? Now, let me know if there's any, like, specific lineups. You, oh, my gosh. Bust! Let me know if there's any lab or matchups you guys want to see. Um, I know this is kind of like a nightmare scenario, dream scenario, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we, we can obviously do just normal lineups as well. You know, the Rockets. Gosh, LeBron. The Clippers. I don't know. Clippers, Clippers seem to have a lot of locker room issues. I don't know if they're going to be able to... I don't know if they're ever going to be able to get through. Also, Paul George just makes me nervous. The dude never seems to be able to put it together. Oh, I really thought we'd get that. Oh, I thought this was going to be a Draymond board right there. It's all right. We shouldn't get goofy with it. Oh, AD. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, dude. No look. Seriously? <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, I know that's a big shot for them, but I love it. I love it. I can't I can't not love that. Ooh, wow. Bad pass. Draymond should have gone with the bounce pass there. Or, or going off high for like an alley-oop, but okay. They're bringing Caruso and McGee back in. Not really that worried about it. Not really that worried about it. Steph, get out there. Stick it out, Caruso. Play a little slow there. Rondo gets it. And just like that, it's a four-point game. I got to be careful. All right, no more getting goofy with it. Let's go, Giannis. You guys got any good 2K tips for me? Also, let me know. Love them. Yep, that's Giannis. Take it right to the rack there with the left. Lakers get the timeout. They're only down six, though, right? This is right right within their, their grasp. They can reach. I like the guy. Look at the guy's teal suit, man. That's a sweet suit. I'm a little jealous. I love the texture on the uniforms. Also, watch this. I think this is interesting. So the girls do their dance, right? It almost looks scary. Like, it almost looks... It's, like, so real it's fake. It's, like, Uncanny Valley. But as soon as you hit A, they, like, turn their heads like androids. It's kind of robotic. It makes me think I'm watching freaking Westworld Season 4. NBA edition. Who's excited for Space Jam 2? Please tell me you're excited for Space Jam 2. Although, the whole idea of, like, all of these different movie characters, like, the Joker and stuff being in the movie seems so wild and weird. Like... They go against all the different, like, Warner Brothers franchises and stuff. The Lakers honestly have, like, they're, like, heating up. They're doing pretty good here. Like, you can't lie, I'm a little nervous. A little late, but I thought that'd be a good shot. My timing isn't that great. Surprise. Oh, gosh. Seriously? I hate that. That's one of the things I don't like, and I know it's, like, you're supposed to play good man-to-man -man demons, but I don't like that guys don't help over. They don't slide over. I don't know if I'm just just doing something stupid or what, but like, I feel like everybody should be able to be smart enough to help over like that. Let's go baseline. Yep. Too easy. Too easy. You, you can't cover Giannis with, with coups. What are they doing? Make a switch, guys. Frankie, make a switch. This isn't Indianapolis anymore. All right. It's a close game. It's going to be a, a nice fourth quarter here. Four-point game. The Lakers really came back well here. They really did what they needed to do. But that's good D, but AD with a nice move here. Two-point game, man. I don't, I don't think anyone... I don't think when I was up 11 at the break or whatever, I don't think anyone expected it to be this close, but they've done quite the job. Giannis wants it. But Steph is like, I can do this too. Curry kicks to Thompson. Beyond the arc. Nah! Man, they could put they could they could tie this up here. No, nah, they can't. Ooh! Alright. It's a one possession game as we enter the fourth quarter. Do not mess this up. Do not mess this up, okay? GSW. I mean the Lakers are showing that they're not gonna lie over. Roll over and die. I mean they didn't against KD either. <sighs> Alright, assist the game. That was a good pass. That's the one with Giannis. Yep, right there over Dwight Howard. But let's see what we can do. We gotta, we gotta, oh, come on guys. Here we go. LeBron probably gonna try to take over. Maybe Giannis should do the same. I don't like AD. AD's trying to ball out. I mean, that's, that's good of him, I guess, but I'm not a fan. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, Marquise Chris. Use your, do something. Too easy. Again, <laughs> just abusing coups underneath the hoop. Yikes. 
All right, the Lakers, man, they six for eight in the third quarter. That's incredible. That's a good move by LeBron. That's a nice move right over Giannis like that. He's not going to let his team go down easy. When you need a big bucket, keep it in his hands. LeBron lives with this. Outside curve. That's a pretty good shot. That's a pretty good shot. That's a three, right? Triple, yep. Give me that three. Right there on the line. Steph with the fancy footwork doing exactly what he needs to do. All right, let's make sure Danny Green doesn't bring it right back. Going to try to get the pick over the top with AD. Come on, Giannis. Use that big body. Nope. Nowhere. No. Ah! Yo! Good steal! Giannis on the foul. Oh, Curry. Good shot, man. Yes. Extend that lead again. Oh, and it's up to eight. Chef Curry. Ooh, yeah. Wipe off those guns, baby. We're locked and loaded now. Love the up-close shots. I'm, I'm just still submitting. Falling in love with the way this looks. It's pretty. Watch. Let me send them Android. Ready? Three, two, one. Robots. All right. Let's see if we can close this out. 97 seconds till we get the W. As long as we play smart here. LeBron's going to get the ball, of course. Ah! Woo! Ooh! You kidding me? Play wide. Good shot. Ah, let it splash. Let it rain. Oh, my goodness. It's monsoon season. Goodness gracious. We extend our lead to 11 with three straight triples. The Sprouse Bros are feeling wet. All right. All right. Let's take our time. No need to get crazy. You're good to Giannis. Good move, Giannis. Ah! Good D by LeBron. 41% good D according to the game. KCP, that's going to be a bucket. Yeah. All right. Way to cut the lead. They're putting a little pressure here. Slightly late. Oh, wow. I thought, wow, I thought he was going to get that. I was like, dude, let's pull the deep dame and drop it. But instead we did. All right. They, I mean, they don't really have much of a chance, but let's not get too goofy with it. I'm going to play smart the next few possessions and just burn the clock. Gosh, Curry, where are you at? Oh, that's unlucky. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Get it, Giannis. Yeah, they're not even going to foul. Let's go. This is definitely an apocalyptic assortment of players. An all-star lineup at just about every position. Sorry, Marquise Chris. But I love what we got here. Steve Kerr loves it. And uh, I know this would absolutely destroy the NBA. So hopefully it doesn't happen. Step back. Nice shot. Oh, oh my goodness. Giannis cannot be stopped. We take it back to a double-digit lead. It looks like that's how this is going to wrap up. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. We'll get the post-game interview. Of course, I'll include that for you. Appreciate you guys a lot. Make sure to stay healthy, stay safe, stay smart out there. Uh, enjoy yourself. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn the notification bell on. Enjoy the start of Next Gen with me. It's going to be fun. And oh, are you joking right now? When it rains, it pours. I love this game. It's one thing to be close and I love you. So stay safe. Like I said, stay healthy, stay smart. I'll see y'all soon. Let me know in the comments down below any other matches you want to see. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Notification bells on. And until next time, enjoy the post game. That was a brutalization from a nightmarish lineup. But we got more in store. So I'll see y'all soon. Until that time, take care. Take it easy. Love you lots. XP Force out. And it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Giannis, an impressive performance for you. What was the key? You know, I just want to thank my teammates because they're doing a great job finding me. And I'm just trying to, you know, try to be myself and try to wait, wait for my time to push a bit. Well, it looked great tonight, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.